Wine was holding a file in her hand, staring at it for a long time now. A few days ago, she got herself tested, and she was shocked when she saw her pregnancy tests, which were positive. She thought about it for a while. She didn't want to have an abortion. The more she thought about it, the more she realized that while she wouldn't mind raising her child alone, it would be better if the child had a father. She went on a date with Jungkook around a month ago. It was a blind date. They met in a pub. While she was forced by her friends to visit that place with them, and it seemed the same case for him. And that's why they mingled quite easily. She liked him a lot, and it resulted in them having a one-night stand in her home. He was not there when she woke up the next morning. That morning, she felt so cold, but she didn't want to be upset for a long time. It was nothing but a one-night stand after all. But things were different now. She was having his child, and he had every night to know about this. She remembered him telling her where he worked. She got into her car, looked up the address where he worked on the internet, and once she found it, she drove there. But soon she realized how late it was. She was concerned that he wouldn't be there at this time, but decided to continue driving now that she was out. Maybe she will be able to get his contact information. She soon arrived at the company headquarters, which was a massive structure that was both white and tall. She was intimidated by it. By the way he described it, she thought it was a small company with a few employees. She decided to park far away from the building to avoid getting in trouble. She took a deep breath and entered. The interior was as luxurious as the exterior. It was nothing less than a modern hotel lobby. Anyone would want to stop and click pictures for Instagram. She went to talk with the receptionist, who was giving her a weird look. She was really uncomfortable with all of this. Wine, hello, I want to meet Mr. Jungkook. Is he here? She said in a shaky voice. Receptionist, he is here. Do you have an appointment? He was staring at her coldly. Wine. I don't have an appointment, but I need to tell him something. She hoped she would be let in. Receptionist, I'm sorry, madam. You cannot meet the CEO without an appointment. The revelation made her quite shocked. Another worry hit her stronger than getting rejected. What if she was considered as a gold digger? Jungkook for sure gave off wealthy vibes, with his great manners and intellectual way of speaking. He was nothing more than a complete gentleman and extremely good at what they did that night. Receptionist, excuse me ma'am, you are required to leave the premises, he said, pointing at the exit. Wine nodded and left the building feeling quite dejected. She didn't like how she was treated just now, but she had no other choice but to bear it. Since her car was parked far away, she decided to wait outside, hoping no one would try to shoo her away. It was late into the work day, so she was expecting him to come out soon. To her surprise, no one tried to force her to leave. 
before she eventually saw him walking out the door and towards his car. She had to act quickly before he got in and drove away. The security around him scared her, but didn't stop her from approaching him. She flinched when one of the guard held his arm out to stop her. She wanted to scream to get his attention, but had no idea if it was a good way. When? I mean no harm. I know him. She surrendered her hands in air. You can ask him. Guard, you should have his contact in that case. Please leave. She exhaled. Now this was making her angry, being told to leave again and again. How the hell was she supposed to tell him the other way? She took a mental note to maybe at least curse at him once or twice for not giving her his contact. That too, if only she was accepted. Wine, Jungkook, I have something I need to tell you. She yelled, finally dropping her etiquettes, a little satisfied that not too many people were around. Jungkook was busy talking to his assistant right in front of his car. He turned at the familiar voice and gestured at his guards to step away. The guards instantly released her. She wanted to roll her eyes, partially blaming her mood swings in the first months and partially blaming the mighty CEO. She was so relieved that he agreed to speak with her, but a few tears filled her eyes. He came towards her and took in her form and gently held her arm getting her in his car away from the looking eyes. Jungkook, it's such a surprise to see you here. I'm extremely sorry for the inconvenience. Jungkook, did something happen when? Only he knew how much he waited for her every day. How much he was expecting her arrival almost every day since that night. He told her where he worked on purpose, since he thought maybe she just wanted a night and sharing personal information would be a little out of the boundary. Wyan, I'm having your child, Jungkook. Jungkook, are you certain of that, Wyan? Wyan, yes, I'm certain. Wyan, and before you think about any wrong thing, I'm here to tell you that because you have a right to know. Otherwise, I'll be raising him alone. Jungkook, that's a great wine. To her surprise, he hugged her tightly and kissed her head. Wine, you're okay with that? She looked up at him. Jungkook, Wine, I'm sorry for making you uncomfortable. This was not planned at all. However, what I did wish was for you to come to me. Now feel like a jerk for living like that. Wayne, that you are. Do you know how hard it was to reach you, Mr. President? He persuaded his lips and held her hands caressing them. Jungkook, I thought you wouldn't want anything after a night. Wan, Jungkook, I... Did you want something between us? He nodded and tucked her hair behind her ear. She blushed deeply and smiled. Wan, you do? She wasn't expecting him to receive it this well. Jungkook, of course. He smiled gently at her. She was overcome with feelings of love and relief. Then she completely forgot about the cursing part. She held his coat in her face and looked up at him and suddenly kissed him. He was taken aback, but it didn't last a second before he was returning the favor, taking over the next moment. He held her waist with gentleness, yet in a way that he owned her, and brushed fingers to her hair.
Jungkook, do you want to go back to my place? He asked as he pulled away from the kiss. The red on her cheeks made him so proud of his achievement. She nodded and he wrapped his arm around her body, keeping her in his embrace, while he asked the driver to take them home through the closed shutter. They went to his place. It was a lavish penthouse on top of a skyscraper with high ceilings and intricate mouldings. The floors were made of shining white marbles and the walls were painted with rich, warm colors. Large windows offered a great view of city, while plush velvet curtains provided privacy and elegance. He was stunned at the place. Jungkook sighed and added, Sorry, I didn't have time to organize things. She chuckled internally, wondering how much more he wanted to organize the already organized home. He took her around the penthouse. Every new thing she saw was more impressive than the last. The kitchen had top-of-the-line stainless steel appliances. The bedroom was spacious with a large king-sized bed and the sheets were made of high-quality linen. The bathrooms were fully equipped with a jacuzzi and heated floors. The penthouse also had a gym. Jungkook, have a dinner with me. She nodded and turned. But he held her wrist and suddenly pulled her towards him. A gasp escaped her lips at the sudden move. Her breathing escalated and she was mesmerized, seeing him up this close, wanting to be drawn in those beautiful eyes. Jungkook, will you marry me? Wine. He took out a box from his pocket and opened it and she saw a beautiful diamond ring. Was he keeping it with him all the time? One, Jungkook. Jungkook, I bought this for you for a while now, but I didn't know how to contact you. Jungkook, be mine, Wyan. I have admired you since the first meeting. Although it was careless of me to leave like that, let's raise our child together. A lot of emotion swirled through her eyes as she nodded and extended her hand. He took it and slid the ring in her finger, kissing her knuckles while maintaining an eye contact with her. Stepping forward, he took her in his arms and kissed her features, her forehead, corner of her eyes, her cheeks, jaw, chin, and then her lips. Her heart melted on the warm marble floor as she received his affection and happily allowed him in her life.